All right, Shalom, I'm Mike M. First and foremost, I want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Raka Kodash. I'd like to give double honors to the Pots and Elders of Great Millstone, Lady like say Shalom, to the elect that teaches word and all truth, faith, and sincerity. <clears throat> and yesterday, I just want to tie this lesson, the process of deliverance. The process of deliverance because everything... You know, just dealing with creation as a whole, it's a process, you know, just dealing with like a regular old, you know, human being, you know, start off as a newborn, an infant, then become a little toddler, all the way to a, you know what I mean, a preteen, all the way to an adult. So you see the process, you know, of creation, man, and that's, that's pretty much on all levels. <clears throat> Everything got a a, 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 a it, it grows pretty much, you know, and that's the same thing with deliverance, which is start off by the way of this word, man. Matter of fact, uh, <clears throat> cause the first step is believing. That's just like a fire alarm going off in a building. You first got to believe in the knowledge that that's the fire alarm. The next step is you making your way out the building. That's that's by the way of this word. <clears throat> Matter of fact, let's get that in all. Because this word is what's leading us to salvation. You know? So this St. Matthew 7 and 13. It said, Enter ye in in the straight gate, for wide is the gate. And broad is the way that lead up to destruction, see? And a way which is a, a path or really a doctrine is a certain destination that you had to, you know, depending on your outlook of life, man. So the, that broad gate, that broad way is going to lead to your death. It said, many there be was going there at. It said, because straight is the gate and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life. And few be there that find it, see? So, this doctrine is actually going to lead to our salvation. This is the road to salvation, man. You know, because a way is a, is a you, you, you heading towards a certain destination, which is life, man. And it starts, by the way, at his word, you know? Matter of fact, uh, I said, you got to believe first. Let's see, uh, what's that? I think it's X. S. S 13 and uh, 26. It said, Men and brethren, children of the stock of Abraham, and whosoever among you fear the most high, to you it is is the word of this salvation sent. See? So we had we gotten word, you know, that we about to um be delivered, man. You know, out of this captivity. Out of catching all this hell. You know, so this word was sent unto us. So, we're believing the report, man. Now, you know, this word is what's guiding us to that salvation, man. And like I said, this is a process with everything. It got to grow, man. Because ultimately, uh, matter of fact, us getting built up. You know, believing, putting our time into this, is actually building us up for the, the next phase in the salvation, which is Jacob Trouble, man. So let's get this real quick. This is James 5 and 7. It said, Be patient, therefore, brethren, until the coming of the Lord. See? <laughs> which the coming of the Lord is gonna be just gonna mark the salvation, man. That's gonna that's gonna mark the deliverance. That's gonna be the ultimate form of deliverance, man. The coming of our Lord Yahweh by some outside, man. It said, Behold, <clears throat> the husbandman waited for, for the precious fruit of the earth and have long patience for it until he had, until he received the early and latter rain. See, so just like a husbandman, with that's that's um the Lord is being uh, comparing himself to is a husbandman, which <clears throat> that's why one of the characteristics of the Lord is long suffering. 
It's a process. It's a build up to everything. You know? Same thing with deliverance. It start off by the way of this word. You know, you believing in it. You being preserved from Jacob's trouble. And ultimately, <clears throat> getting caught up in the clouds, man. You know, so it said, be ye also patient. Establish your hearts. See? So that lets you know this is the first steps of deliverance. Establish your hearts for the coming of the Lord. Draw of nigh. See? So we gearing up our minds. Like I said, with that, this getting this word is pretty much prepping us for the next phase, which is Jacob's trouble. Matter of fact, let's get that. Isaiah 33. Isaiah 33 and verse 6, it said, And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, and strength of salvation. See, so this is this is that uh, what we're going to lean upon in the times of trouble, is this wisdom and knowledge. You know, that's, that's going to be the strength of salvation, man. The fear of the Lord is his treasure, see? So, having his word it's going to be that stability in the times of trouble, man. You know? Which that's the next phase of the salvation. Now we got to get through the said perils. But it's going to be according to this word. You know, according to the report. You know? Matter of fact, um, what did it Psalm 119? Psalm 119 and uh, 41. It said, Let thy mercies come un also unto me, O Lord, even thy salvation according to thy word. See? So having his word is a form of mercy and salvation, man. You know? Because us having this knowledge, you know, especially in the time of Jacob's trouble, that's what's going to keep us we're not going to fall apart in the mind because there's nothing we can do physically to uh, you know get out of those situations that we're going to be in so what's really what we can do you know cling on to this word cleave on to the words of your how about which is a form of mercy and salvation man you know this what's going to keep us in that day man you know, let's get this real quick. This Proverbs um, 2 and 10 said, When wisdom enter into thine heart, and knowledge is pleasant unto thy soul, and this is not conventional wisdom, man. This is the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the scriptures, man. You know, it says, Discretion shall preserve thee. Understanding shall keep thee. See? This is what's going to keep us, man. By the way of this word. You know? Because, like I said, the first step is believing, you know, believing the report. And it's going to be applied in the times of trouble, man. You know, it's a build up to the deliverance. This, this is the first step. This is the walk that we have take, um, on taken, man. This path we have taken, man, which is this doctrine. Which, that's why I say it's going to lead to life. It's going to manifest into life. Meaning where we, we continue on this road, we endure it to the end. We're going to be saved, man. And I'm going to jump down, matter of fact. <clears throat> because this, this wisdom and knowledge is actually going to uh, preserve us from the strange woman. You know? It says, uh, I'm going to jump down to verse um, 18. Matter of fact, it says, For her house inclineth unto death. And her pals unto the dead. See, so anything <clears throat> that's that broad way, you know, that's the broad way. It's going to lead to your death. You know, it said none that go unto her return again. Need to take the whole of the paths of life. See, so you go into a man, you cleave unto, her, you know, pretty much, like I said, just going back to that burning building reference. If you take the wrong, you know, uh, route, 
it is a possibility that you cannot return from the way you went, you know. Especially the how, the condition America is in. This this building is on fire, man. You know, so you take that wrong route. Pretty much you're not going to uh you pretty much going to go to death. And that's what a lot of people is heading towards death, man. You know? It said that thou mayest walk in the way of a good man and keep the paths of the righteous, see? So that's what we walk. We walking in the paths of a good man, but it start off by the way of his word, man. You know? So that's that's pretty much pretty much all. Uh, the path that we walk in, the way of a good man. See that way again. Let you know it's a doctrine, man. But that's what's going to preserve us from the times of trouble. Because we are going to be in the midst of trouble, man. Let's get that. <clears throat> Joel 5 and 19, it says, He shall deliver thee in serious troubles. Yeah, in 7, there shall no evil touch thee. See? So that's that's the process right now, man. Now since we got this word we believe in, now it's time it's gonna be game time when all hell break loose. You know. And the Lord's gonna pull us, you know, deliver us from all these different situations, man. And it said in the seven, which is ultimately that destruction, we're not gonna even experience that. Lord will, man. You know, so that's the next phase of the delivery. We've been delivered from these different troubles, and ultimately from the ultimate form of trouble, the ultimate plague, which is the missiles, man. Matter of fact, uh, let me jump up on this. Matter of fact, uh, yeah, this is um Joel five and eleven. It says to set up those, to set up on high those that be low. That those which mourn may be exalted to safety. See? So that's going to be the ultimate form of deliverance. It's when we're being exalted unto safety. When we're being caught up in the clouds, man. You know? That's going to be the that's gonna be the ultimate form of deliverance, man. It's us being caught up in the clouds. Like I said, it's like, it's like a, a seed being planted. You know? Us getting the word. Us being preserved from Jacob's trouble. And us seeing the salvation. Matter of fact, I'm gonna end it off on this. Um let's see, uh because it's pretty much gonna this is pretty much gonna sum it up. This second edge nine. And some it said, and everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith, whereby ye have believed, see, so the ones that's gonna escape. <laughs> It's going to be the ones that, that do the work, which was the prophets, his teachers. It said, and by faith, so the, the believers who believe the report. Well, I said, whereby ye have believed, shall be preserved from the said perils. See, which the scriptures is full of the, um, the, those different perils. But who's saying the, the uh, speaking on these said perils? The prophets, man. You know, so it says, shall be preserved from the said apparel. See, so that's that's that form of deliverance. That's that next phase of deliverance. It said, and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders, for I have sanctified them from me from the beginning. See, so we're actually going to witness the salvation of the Lord cracking the clouds, man, cracking the skies, man. So deliverance is a process just like everything else. That's a creation in itself. You know, being saved, being delivered. You know, which, like I said, this path that we're taking, by the way, this doctrine is leading us out of this burning building. You know, which is going to ultimately manifest when the Lord, our Lord, y'all shall return with the chariots and the heavenly host, man. So, yeah, I can't just hold it with edifying. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shah, Bashim, Makakodash. Double honors to the positive elders of Great Millstone, Shalom. To your let the teacher word in all true favor sincerity. DTA.